Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on a low-end PC in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. I'm going to give you the best stretch resolution for low-end PCs, which is already built into a game user settings file. I'm going to give you later, which is fully optimized for low-end PCs, and also show you some additional Windows tweaks, which you can apply to your PC to boost your FPS even more. So if you guys want to support today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and I already prepared everything for you. I'm gonna show you a bunch of programs and a bunch of registry tweaks we're going to do right now to improve your performance. And everything is literally on my Discord, guys. And since so many new people ask, just simply go into the description of this video and there you can see already the Discord link. Just simply click on it, join the Discord. Then you get like a message here from my bot where you need to verify real quick. So you know, like no bots join this Discord and spam here. And yeah, afterwards guys, once you're verified, you will see here literally under video related, you will see everything I ever mentioned in a guide or a tutorial and there you can see right now here the FPS boost pack which I'm going to show you here directly above it we also can see quick CPU which I'm also going to show you and all the good stuff boys so therefore it's all on this discord trust me there and guys literally every single tweak which is right now here on my discord also has like a separate extra tutorial if you need some extra additional information so therefore it's super easy guys so guys and once you get this actually here now onto your desktop we're gonna first of all take a look at the FPS boost pack which you just simply have to open and drag this here onto your desktop which I already did here in the background and then we're just gonna open up the file and then we can see that we have a reduced latency in-game file, registry, and mem test. And we first of all gonna take a look at registry because they are like all the secret registry settings which you usually can't access on Windows or it's super complicated. Therefore, I try to put it all into here so you can just like launch every single one and apply those tweaks correctly. So therefore, yeah, we have stuff here like disabling the maps feature of Windows, which no one uses. I think everyone is using Google Maps. Disabling the Windows game bar. I think everyone is using Nvidia or AMD highlights or whatsoever. Then we also have the disabling Xbox service rack here, which is just putting a huge workload onto our PC. No one is using this service. Then we also have stuff like printer services, power throttling, limited user account control, Fortnite high priority, which is also super important. I think everyone works like the basic way where you go into task manager and put your Fortnite every time on high priority. This registry just simply does it automatically every time you restart your PC and you don't have to do it manually. So therefore guys, just simply click on it, go into yes here, press okay, and go through the whole entire list. And once we go back here guys, we also have mem test which I would recommend you to also run at least once on your PC. What you can do with this tool is super, super nice, guys. You can check your RAM for any issues, which is especially on older PCs or more like low-end PCs, very helpful. What you basically have to do is just type in the amount of RAM you want to actually scan on your PC. Let's just say we have four gigs of RAM and we want to maybe scan like one gigabyte or two gigs. Since Windows is already utilizing two gigs, so you know your PC won't crash, just simply type in 2000 because this actually goes um, with megabytes. And then we're just going to go here onto start testing and it's gonna test now our RAM here in the background. It's gonna tell here um, your RAM is now being um, tested. And additionally, if you have any issues with your RAM, this program is actually gonna automatically fix them, which is super nice. And once we're done with that, guys, we're gonna close this folder here and go over to Quick CPU. Again, just open it up, drag this onto your desktop, and then we're gonna go through the installation process, which is also super easy. Just simply click on next, then you can like change where you wanna install it. For me, obviously, I already have it on my PC, so I can only repair and remove it. So yeah, I'm just gonna cancel this here quick and once this program is fully loaded up it gives you so much information about your pc and what's also super important is that you can unpark your cpu cores so many people literally have parked cpu cores or their frequency is just simply not set to maximum so you're not utilizing 100 of your cpu power which could be especially also super beneficial on low-end pc since you want to utilize maximum of your already weaker cpu so therefore guys what you need to do is in the first place make sure that you have zero park cores for me you can see right now here i'm running 16 cores since i'm running a ryzen 7 37 100x and I have zero cores parked so this is already really good and then we're just gonna go here to the left side guys and you can see core parking we're just gonna drag it all the way to the right side to 100% frequency scaling to 100% and turbo boost to 100% and once we're here guys we're just simply gonna hit apply here and it tells you already changes are successfully applied but we're not done here we're actually gonna go on the top bar and click here onto maximum performance and just simply click on it and there you can see already tons of changes this program wants to do additionally to just maximize the performance of your CPU so we're just gonna leave everything here on default and press accept which I'm not gonna do since I already did it so therefore yeah I'm just gonna go here on um, exit 
And once you're done with that, your CPU should be running at 100% and should be perfectly optimized for gaming. But we need to actually go through an extra step just to make sure that it's also applied 100%. So therefore, what you guys need to do is go into a Windows search bar and type in energy until you find edit power plan. Just simply open it up. And then here on the top bar, you're just going to go into power options. And there you can see right now that the Bitsim highest performance one is already selected. You're probably just going to have multiple here, but just make sure that the Bitsim one is selected. I know it's saying here provides Bitsim optimized CPU performance, but we just pushed it to 100%. So therefore, the right settings are applied already so just please make sure to select bits and highest performance and then you can close this and just simply quickly restart your pc and once we're also done with that guys just go into discord again and get yourself the ultimate windows tweaker which should be called utb48 just simply open it up and drag this onto your desktop there is no installation needed you can just simply open it up and already launch the program here it's just called ultimative windows tweaker 4.8 and we're just simply going to launch it and there you can see now you have tons of specs of your pc and all the data but what we actually need to focus around is performance and we're going to click on this program and you can see that you can disable so many extra services which you usually can't on windows since they're like hidden or again it's super complicated and just simply make sure to copy all of my settings here guys disable windows timer service disable tablet input service i mean who's using this really disable prefetch services super important guys those are temporary files which your windows is always creating in the background so therefore please make sure this is disabled and just simply copy all of them here guys like straight up one by one and once you're done with that we're just going to click here onto apply tweaks and everything should be changed it also tells you here please note that starting this automotive windows tweaker is going to change everything and modify it just simply press yes and now that you applied everything correctly guys just simply close the program and restart your pc again and as you can see guys here we are right now in creative and the best stretch resolution for low-end pcs is in my opinion 1280 times 960 and i already applied it and i have to say it looks really good in my opinion and we can see well over 500 fps which is actually crazy and if you guys are wondering which keyboard i'm actually right now here using it's the gk61 with optical yellow switches so therefore yeah <laughs> But I think you guys get the point, the switch resolution is insane and actually gives me so much more FPS. And I'm going to show you also how to get your hands on this game user settings since I'm going to give you a fully optimized game user settings file with also the stretch resolution already applied so you don't have to worry about anything. See you guys just in a second. And now I'm obviously also going to show you how to apply this new best stretch resolution for Fortnite low-end PCs in Chapter 2 Season 8. So therefore guys, just simply go again onto my Discord. I'm going to put the game user settings here. I fully optimized them already for the best performance and put in the best stretch resolution. So therefore just simply get it here onto your desktop and drag your new game user settings as well on the desktop. And then just simply close this. Go into your Windows search bar, type in percenter, temp percenter and open up the first file here. And once we're in there, we're just going to click onto local, press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, save config windows client and there we can see now our old game user settings which we're just going to straight up delete and drag the new ones just simply in there it's literally that easy guys and then right click onto it go into properties and please make sure that the check under the attribute read only is set and then we're just going to press ok open it up one more time and just check if the resolution is also applied correctly i mean it should be but yeah there could be like some issues so therefore resolution size x and y we got 1280 times 960 and other than that the whole entire config here is fully optimized for gaming so just simply close this here close this as well and launch your fortnite and enjoy it and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and please make sure to check out my twitter guys since i'm still giving away a gk61 with gator and yellow optical switches so maybe you guys want to check it out and with that said have a great day have a great night whatever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light before it all come get inside Dame Gucci Lee, come take a dive